In this section, we will learn about using TensorFlow Hub for transfer learning. This subsection gives an overview of TensorFlow Hub. Topics covered in this video include what is TensorFlow Hub, model formats and problem domains, the TensorFlow Hub community, how to browse, search, and filter on TensorFlow Hub, and how to publish your own models. So what is TensorFlow Hub? TensorFlow Hub was announced at the TensorFlow Dev Summit in 2018. It's an open source repository built to foster the publication and discovery of pre-trained models. You can use the state-of-art models directly or use them for transfer learning easily with just a few lines of code. Recall from section 1.2 TensorFlow 2.0 overview, we train a model with tf.keras then, we export the model to a saved model format, which can be deployed to cloud, web, mobile, and edge devices. There are more than just saved model formats on TF Hub, though. There are also TensorFlow.js models, TFLite models along with their metadata, which describes the model, and models for the Corel Edge TPU devices. There are models for image, text, and the video problem domains. For image, there are classification, object detection, style transfer, and generative models, etc. For text, there are text classification models, embeddings, and state-of-art BERT models. For video, there are classifications and generative models. Today, there are over a thousand state-of-art models on TensorFlow Hub by Google and the community. TensorFlow Hub is powered by the community. The model publishers include Google, DeepMind, MediaPipe, Kaggle, and the community such as NVIDIA, Microsoft AI for Earth, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, iNaturalist, etc. And the list is growing. Now let's take a look at TensorFlow Hub. Let's search for style transfer and scroll down. Observe there are 12 models that are for style transfer. You can search and filter on TensorFlow Hub by model format, TensorFlow version, and whether or not it's fine tunable so that you know right away whether you can use the model for transfer learning on your own datasets. So we filter on TensorFlow 2 version and that narrows it down to seven models. And you can narrow it down to five models for tf.js. Turning on the fine tunable flag you see there are still five models. Click on clear all to clear out your search and the filter. Now let's search for mobile net. And you see there are a lot of mobile net models, 176 of them. If you filter on TF Lite format, that narrows it down to 39 of them. Filter on Corel will reduce the list down to just two models. Now clear all. Let's search for Inception. You see there are 59 models. And if we turn on the fine tunable flag, that reduces the list down to 19. There are two of them, which are TF1 format. And 17 of them are in TensorFlow 2 format. You can browse collections of models as well. Click on collections. Browse by the model family. For example, you can see all the efficient net models here, all the variations. And you can also browse by the image collection. And you will see all the Inception, MobileNet, V1, V2, NASNet, PNASNet, ResNet models on this collection page. You can also browse by publishers. You see all of this is the list of all the publishers and click on MediaPipe. For example, MediaPipe recently published three of the JavaScript models, hand skeleton, face mesh, hand detector models. You can also browse by problem domains. For example, let's take a look at all the text models. And there are 105 of them. And you can further filter down as we discussed before. For example, you can look at a TF Lite format, TensorFlow 2 version and fine tunable models. Now, some of the models 
has also a visualization tool. For example, if you search for mobile net and filter on Corel, and let's pick this first one, you see there's a visualizer here. You can click on one of these images to see the top results on the left side, or you can drag and drop an image, like a cat image, to see the results on the left, the top results. TensorFlow Hub is more than just a model repository. It also has a lot of information to help you implement the model or use it for fine tuning. So let's search for MobileNet again and turn on the TF2 filter, fine tunable. And let's just pick this first model that we see. That you see there's link to the TensorFlow documentation in addition to the URL to clipboard download model. You see there's also a link to a collab notebook where you can learn more about the model. Here's the link to the paper and some other additional information such as all the mobile net link to the mobile net v2 pre-trained models. Here's also a code snippet you can copy and paste into your Python code. This code snippet teaches you how to fine tune this particular model. Now let's take a look at another example. Search for mobile net turn on TF light and let's pick this mobile net v2. You'll see the link to GitHub with the demo apps for Android and iOS. Here's also a code snippet for Java code if you decide to implement on Android yourself. In addition to using the models from TensorFlow Hub, you can also publish your own models on TensorFlow Hub following these four steps. First, you create the model, then you package the model, write the documentation, and when you're ready, create a publishing request. I have included a link here for you to learn more about how to publish your model to TensorFlow Hub.